already at a point. Before you look at our lesson, by clicking on this video, you are obligated to learn with me, and I am obligated to teach you. Now let us honor you for giving us the great subject of calculus. All right, now, not continuing, and can you define when f of x is x approaches a from the left, remember, this minus sign means from the left, and x plus a from the right, remember, this plus sign means the right, is continuous. So first, let's define where it's not continuous, at least from what we have right over here. So, what do we have right over here, eh? So, it looks like this goes in another direction, so it's perfectly continuous from there, but, whoop, we have a huge jump discontinuity. Because you can see, it unexpectedly, instantly changes its y value by, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 units. So you have to jump up 7 units to get from one place to another. And then again, you have another jump discontinuity. This time, you'll have to jump all the way down. Well, you have what's down? Let's imagine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. You have to jump down nine squares. So I've seen a lot of jump discontinuity so far. And oop, here comes another one right now. This time, you'll have to jump one, two, three, four, five, six squares now. And finally, no more jump this. Never mind. That's a jump of four. So it's perfectly continuous until you hit this point. And then you have this point discontinuity. So this kind of just goes up and goes back down instantly by a distance of one, two, three, four, five squares. And then it's continuous from there. So there are one, two, three, four, and oh, coincidentally, five spaces where this is not continuous. F of x is x approaches a, or n will use, exists. And then we have to say that the limit of f x, x approaches n from the minus side is going to still be f of n. And this also has to be true for the plus side. And those make sure that these two equations make sure that everything else is continuous. One part of the function is continuous, like this part over here, or this part right over here. Alright, so now, these two are the answer to our question. Why? Well, then we know that these two are equal to each other, meaning they're both limit is x approaches n. This f of x cancel and make things so that this jump discontinuity doesn't happen. And it also makes sure this point discontinuity doesn't happen either. Because it's kind of like a mini jump discontinuity. So this is so this is the answer to our homework. And we will see you with discontinuities with lots, not points.